Hello everyone, this is Mike with Newfound Past coming at you again with episode 2 of our haul videos, Return of the Thrift. We had a big weekend, we had a lot of thrift stores, we didn't hit any garage sales, even though it's coming into garage sale season, so this is all thrift stores, flea markets, what have you. And we had a pretty good weekend, so let's just jump right in. I'm going to pan over for you. First we got this Canon, Cano Scan 9000F at the thrift store. It was half off day. See it's marked 999. We got that for five dollars and it includes everything. It's not brand new, which I prefer, but it has the disc, the drivers, the manual, the power cords, it's everything. And that will probably go for a minute 65, 75 dollar range. That's a good pickup. Up above we have a like a cat um, sponge holder or something. My wife is really good at picking up this stuff. People love cat stuff. Paid under a dollar for that. I don't know exactly what it'll bring. And we have a, can you hear my kitty cat? Hi Gatsby. We have the uh, Donald Duck mug. Again, way under a dollar and you know, 15 to 25 dollars. Some other mugs on top there, the flamingo mug, people love pink flamingos, the Kentucky Derby mug on the other side of the Garfield. I pick up the glass Garfield mugs and they're from the late seventies from McDonald's. I pick them up and make sets with them. I think there are sets of eight. And once you get the whole set, they bring really good money. I got that one. I can see it's marked 69 cents, half price for 35 cents. Underneath we have the HP PhotoSmart C3180 printer. This is brand new. The box top was open, but there's certain things with printers you can tell they're new. It still had the plastic shrink wrap, the blue tape, the uh, power cords were all still uh, factory tightened with the uh, the bread tie things. So, and I don't know exactly how much that would bring. I'm pretty sure I got that at Salvation Army, and it was 25% off day, so I got that for $30. It probably it could bring 100 plus. I just have to do more research on it. Pan over some more. And next to the HP, we had the Canon printer, and this one was completely sealed, taped up, brand new, sealed. It was a great deal. It's a Pixa, Pixma, and uh, yeah, I just love sealed printers, old, vintage. A lot of these offices will, you know, run these printers, and they don't want to change, so they just they're out of they don't do, they don't make them anymore. So the companies buy what's available, and I'd like to provide that this was really cool the little drum next to it this is a toy drum from like 1972 and it is brand new it's still in its box it has its little sticks and I got that at a local thrift uh, store for $15 no real comps on it but I think it bring anywhere from 75 to hundred dollar range it's a great little pickup next to it we have this little end table and I flipped it upside down now, I don't know if you can see the uh, mark on it, but I'm going to see if I can zoom in here. This is a mid-century modern end table. It's a Danish Mobler table. And that's another thing my wife is really good at, is the mid-century modern stuff. And that's a great little table. We picked that up for $5. It's not perfect, but people love mid-century modern stuff, and that was a great little pickup. And down here, I have my, uh, you know, I love my coffee mugs. I picked up several Disney coffee mugs. A Starbucks. Uh, there's a military one in there. Some pretty good stuff. Over here, I picked up a lot of eyeglasses and cases. And shout out to Dorky Thrifters. Check her out. Subscribe. So, uh, this is something that's been covered a lot. There's little handheld video games I mainly pick up Radicas you know it's great when they're new but these aren't but they still sell this is something I don't see a lot of people cover and it's a good money maker these sealed electronics this is a Levit Leviton timer and these have really good comps I picked this up for a buck and and this will sell really well probably in the 20 to 30 dollar range this was in the same bag I don't know what I can get out of it but I always pick up video game power cords and AV cords usually for a buck or two or less and this is a Wii and a uh, I don't know it's either a GameCube or 
one of them but i pick these up because i pick up video game systems especially at the garage sales thrift stores not so much but garage sales you know i like my remotes got a sony the zenith this one's brand new uh, samsung great stuff 50 cents a piece i covered this last week office supplies love office supplies brand new sealed three dollars half off day and two more these are more vintagey avery labels but look at that price 249 a package i got these for a dollar 25 a piece all three of these packages bring between 20 and 30 dollars a piece it's great stuff i sell an awful lot of these as well these these old glass ashtrays they're great they're great money makers pick this one up for a buck 25 this big green one it's heavy I don't see the price on that, but it, again, probably a dollar, two dollars. It's Cuban cigar one, a dollar twenty-five. Good sellers. Ouija boards. I always pick up Ouija boards. They're good sellers. And these sell quick too. And this one is complete. Always make sure the little scry tool is in there. That's important. What did I pick this up for? Paid five ninety-nine for that one, and that. I th pretty sure i paid full price for that no this was half price it was a green and orange off yesterday so three bucks even better ouija boards the guitar hill live for xbox 360 this is brand new and sealed i paid eight dollars for that more than likely i'll keep that for a while because they are selling 30 dollar range but you know just like with uh, video games and magic and lego which we're going to get into a little bit uh the longer you keep these the less there are of them and the more they go up in value so I, i'll probably hang on to that for a while speaking of lego and magic whoops sorry about that i picked up i always pick up lego especially when they're sealed and i find these at local thrift stores pretty consistently people go oh no way but yeah fifteen dollars half off day so seven dollars and fifty cents and i just put these in a bin and save them because legos always go up in value and i've been doing that for years and i have it's almost like a pseudo half retirement plan me and my wife joke about it but one day i will sell a whole bunch of them magic the gathering i don't know a lot about magic but i do watch like alpha investments and a couple other magic things just to learn and i picked these decks up for four dollars a piece and and i checked the comps of course and they're going right now for 20 25 dollars but they're sealed i'm gonna hang on to them and hopefully one day they'll be worth a lot more i talked about blank media last week but something that i don't see a lot of people get is some five and a quarter floppies I've sold quite a bit of these and these are sealed 10 five and a quarter floppy disks brand new and I'm I gave a less than a dollar for these they're not marked but yeah less than a buck for those speaking of vintage sealed stuff vintage PC game Lost Eden sealed got a little dent in the box you can see that but sealed brand new a dollar 25 these are selling fairly well i uh, can't remember exactly but if i remember correctly like 30 bucks or so so on in more video game stuff but this is a book this is the halo 4 player's guide i'm guessing but sealed it's brand new picked it up for two dollars it's half off day so i mean these aren't going for a lot but you know i'll have to research if it's one of those things i hold on to or uh go ahead and flip out sardines I, I, from what i read these is a uh, french game it was only two bucks and they're selling fairly well 15 or 20 dollars so yeah why not puzzles i mean i like puzzles are long tail but i do like them especially when they're new and this one was sealed not a lot of comps on it meerkats who doesn't love meerkats four bucks this one i did pay full price for this one but this should sell for 30 bucks or so 
This is something we are keeping for ourself, ourselves, even though uh, I could flip. I mean, we pick these up all the time and keep for ourselves. Le Creuset pot. In really good shape. I'll take some uh, barkeeper's friend to it and clean it up really nice. And look at the price on that. Can you see that? Got that for four dollars. Marked for seven ninety nine. Half off day. Four bucks. Those pots are very expensive. One more thing that I don't see a lot of people cover, but I'm sure there are people out there to cover is uh, new but vintage cleaning supplies. And this is just one example. This is the Shark Steam Energized Cleanser, and there's two of them. And I paid seven dollars for these two, but the comps on these these are selling for twenty bucks a piece. So it's forty dollars for seven bucks. Yeah, I'll do that all day long. The box is a little banged up, doesn't matter. These are brand new, full, and like I said, vintage cleaning supplies. I do those all the time. You know, those, those mop heads and all that kind of stuff. You get them new, yeah, pick them up. Okay, on to a few pieces of clothing I got. I talked about Foot Joy last week, and yeah, another Foot Joy jacket. Picked it up for four for four dollars, so eight dollars half price. And the reason this one at the thrift store, I'm guessing, is because the zipper pull is missing. But that is a super easy fix. And if you guys want me to do a few repair videos, I'll be happy to do that. Just let me know. But yeah, this will sell once I fix that pull for uh, you know forty or fifty dollars. Love foot joy. This is one I've never really messed with before because I've never seen it. It's a brand called Zero Resistance. This is a windstopper vest. It's Gore-Tex. Got it for three bucks. It's a half off. And it should go for thirty-five or forty-five dollars. Coming into summer, people make fun of them, but they sell some jorts and they are guests so some vintage carpenter you can always tell carpenter style they have this loop like a hammer loop guess jorts for four bucks and they should sell for 30 35 dollars this is a i typically stay away from women's clothes because there's just so much sat saturation but the, the, i always pick up the Harley Davidson stuff. This is a Harley Davidson jacket. And I paid up for this. This was half off, so you know, half of 35 was a 1750, but that should sell well. It should sell for 50 to 60 dollars. Look at this. Pretty cool. Another Foot Joy pullover. Half off, $3.50, you know, 25 30 bucks. It's a generic looking hat, but yeah, it's pretty cool though. Look at this. The L.O. Bean Gore-Tex. Men's large. A dollar. Half off. I like uh, this type of stuff. This is a vintage rugby brand. Columbia Knit Rugby Wear. And it's just a plain long sleeve collared shirt. But those sell. I don't know where the price tag went, but I only paid a couple bucks for that, and that'll sell for twenty-five bucks or so. Don't see this brand out in the wild that often. Life is good, especially brand new with the tags. I mean, they had it marked at ten bucks, but it was half off day, so five bucks, and this will sell for twenty twenty-five dollars, which is not my usual margin. But I love the stuff that's new with tags. This is like a waxed canvas jacket and this Kakadu, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's an Australian brand and it sells really well. There's the tag. Four bucks and that should sell for $35, $45. This is a cashmere Peter Millar sweater vest. Five bucks. 
and it has metalist like embroidered on it but these sell really well cashmere sweater vest probably sell that for 25 35 dollars and i believe this is the last piece we have a pair of polo ralph Lauren polo shorts brand new with the tags love brand new with the tags half off six dollars and fifty cents these should sell for 30 35 dollars so that, like i said it's quite the haul today i tried to go fast because i didn't want the video to go too terribly long but uh, if you have any questions about anything if you'd like any of these items featured in our from source to sold videos which i'm still working on you know it takes a while but just let me know i, I am pretty sure i'm going to start doing sold videos what sold in the past week or so on ebay and some other avenues uh, and that'll be starting to post probably this week but i appreciate you letting me show you what i got this weekend and uh like subscribe all that good stuff and i appreciate you watching